Yes, you can take off, uh, take off your glasses now. Mr. Ladies and gentlemen, what you just saw was not a ship from a Star Wars movie a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. It was the huge floating facility that Shell intends to station here in Australia, and we will start to build it now. I'm really delighted to announce today Shell's decision to commit to building a floating liquefied natural gas facility, or FLNG facility for short. Shell is the first company to have the courage, the capital and the confidence to take this momentous decision. We believe FLNG is a game changer for the energy industry and, and as Shell we're proud to be leading the way. And we're also proud to be deploying this revolutionary technology first in Australian waters, here in the Prelude field, where it will cool the produced gas into a liquid on the spot and then ocean-going carriers will offload the LNG as well as, uh, as other liquid byproducts for delivery to market. Now, ladies and gentlemen, this is big. Not just the decision to build the FLNG facility, but also the facility itself. And you can see it on the model there, from bow to stern, Shell's FLNG facility will be 488 metres, that's roughly half a kilometre long. It will be the largest floating offshore facility in the world, longer than four football fields, or soccer fields, or three MCGs laid end to end. When fully equipped and with its storage tanks full, it will weigh around 600,000 tonnes. That's roughly six times as much as the world's largest aircraft carrier. And we were looking at it just now and from the waterline to the top of where the facilities are, at about 17 storeys high. Our decision to go ahead with this project is a true breakthrough. Not since 1892 has a Shell vessel had as much potential to change the nature of the industry. And that's when Shell's Murex, the first ever tanker to be allowed through the Suez Canal, uh, transformed the global kerosene market. And I think the Shell FLNG facility will be the first facility to produce and liquefy gas at sea, and I hope will prove to be just such a major turning point for the global LNG market. Now, FLNG will change the rules of the game. It will allow us to access stranded offshore gas fields that otherwise would be too costly or too difficult to develop, because it avoids the need for long underwater pipelines and new coastal infrastructure. It also enables LNG projects to go ahead more quickly and with less certainty about the volume of the gas resources being tapped, since an FLNG facility can be reused elsewhere at the end of a field's life. So we see FLNG as complementary to onshore LNG. And with both in our inventory of technologies, Shell can bring more value to the table when we sit with governments, partners and customers. Don't let the simplicity of the concept fool you. Building an FLNG facility is not just a matter of putting a normal LNG plant on pontoons. It's an entirely new hybrid, and that's why no other company has built one till now. But we think we have a leg up on the competition here. We've got unmatched experience from one end of the gas value chain to the other, from the wellhead to the burner. We've been in the LNG business since the 1960s, and over the last 15 years, we've been involved in building and bringing on stream, on average, one new multi-billion dollar LNG train every year. We have experts in deep water projects, in floating production facilities, in gas treatment and liquefaction, in LNG carriers and marine operations, as well as in LNG marketing and trading. And this engineering and commercial expertise has been key to making Shell FLNG a reality. And I pay tribute to, to the team and our partners that, that have been involved in making this a world first.